Welcome to Box Sciences. Today, we talk about the introduction and synthesis route of small molecule kinase inhibitors approved by FDA in 2017. A total of seven new small molecule kinase inhibitors have been approved by FDA in 2017. Protein kinases form a very large family of signaling proteins, with more than 500 encoded in the human genome. They have many diverse roles in cells and can be regulated in a variety of ways providing essential nodes and intracellular signaling pathways that act to define and or integrate intracellular communication. A protein kinase is a kinase enzyme that modifies other proteins by chemically adding phosphate groups to them. Phosphorylation usually results in a functional change of the target protein by changing enzyme activity, cellular location, or association with other proteins. Protein kinases fall into two major categories, serin-3-anini-specific protein kinases and tyrosin-specific protein kinases. Many researches prove that the protein kinases are the ideal drug targets. On October 31, 2017, the FDA granted accelerated approval to acalabrutinib for treatment of adult patients with mantle cell lymphoma who have received at least one prior therapy. Acalabrutinib is a highly selective, potent BTK inhibitor developed to minimize off-target activity. On July 17, 2017, the FDA approved neratinib for the extended adjuvant treatment of early stage HER2 positive breast cancer. Neratinib is a kinase inhibitor that irreversibly binds to epidermal growth factor receptor, human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, and HER4. On April 28, 2017, the FDA granted accelerated approval to brigatinib for the treatment of patients with metastatic anaplastic lymphoma kinase positive non-small cell lung cancer who have progressed on or are intolerant to crizotinib. Brigatinib acts as both anaplastic lymphoma kinase and epidermal growth factor receptor inhibitor. Metastorin is a multikinase inhibitor recently approved for two indications in adult patients, one, newly diagnosed acute myeloid leukemia with FMS-like tyrosine kinase 3 mutations and, two, advanced systemic mastocytosis. On March 13, 2017, the FDA approved ribosiclib, a cyclin-dependent kinase 4 6 inhibitor in combination with an aromatase inhibitor as initial endocrine-based therapy for the treatment of postmenopausal women with hormone receptor-positive, human epidermal growth factor receptor 2 negative advanced or metastatic breast cancer. On September 28, 2017, the FDA approved abimaciclib in combination with fulvestrin for women with HR-positive. HER2 negative advanced or metastatic breast cancer with disease progression following endocrine therapy. On September 14, 2017, the FDA granted accelerated approval to capanglizib for the treatment of adult patients with relapsed follicular lymphoma who have received at least two prior systemic therapies. If you need small molecular inhibitor or related services, please don't forget to contact us.